AFP reports that the U.S. admitted about 20,000 refugees last year. Nebraska state government says that nearly 7% of Nebraska residents are immigrants, and Omaha World Herald also suggests that about 6,400 refugees have resettled in Omaha since 2002. The number of refugees and immigrants in Omaha and the state of Nebraska have been increasing and thus people there need to work with these people. So we're not necessarily trying to solve the immigration crisis, we're not trying to solve that, we're just trying to meet the needs of those who come here who have been displaced or who are escaping violence. Castellote adds that to understand uh, cultural differences so that we can provide better services that, uh, well, will yield better outcomes for the populations that they're working with. Janessa Michael, mental health coordinator at Project Harmony, says. Um, so, for example, talking about how they prefer to communicate. Um, a lot of times we have families that would rather text messages and do phone calls, but also with a lot of families we have to meet them in other places. So we go to the school and use the bilingual liaisons to kind of get that first um, impression um, with them in a positive or safe place that they already have established. They are working for both native residents in Omaha and non-native residents, such as refugees and immigrants, in order to make all people in the U.S. able to live with social harmony. For the Omaha News, I'm Koichi Wasaki.